Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to be with you, love to everybody out there. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, the doctrine of hell and annihilationism, I've done a six part series. But I'm also going to do uh, a lengthy video now, it might be an hour or two. Uh, looking it, into it in more depth about the doctrine of hell. And uh, before I do that, I'm going to pray and then... Uh, we'll read the scripture just to start off with and uh, I'll talk about Royal Blood Ministries for a few minutes and then we'll get on to the to the doctrine so let's pray Father we come before you today we ask for your forgiveness and uh, your cleansing and your mercies and your grace we acknowledge our foolish ways and the wickedness of our own hearts and Father, we just pray as we read your word, just pray that you would bless us, encourage us, help us, strengthen us. And Lord, just bless us, bless each family in this video, Lord, in your name. Amen. 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 A, a scripture to read. We go to uh, to Timothy and uh, chapter three. This know also that in the last days perilous times will come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedience to parents, unthankful, unholy. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women, laden with sins, led away with divers lusts, ever learning, never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. As James and Jamborees withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifested unto all men as the, theirs also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience, persecution, affliction, which come unto me at Antioch and Iconium, at Listeria, with persecutions I endured. But out of them all the Lord delivered me. And all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, thou hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So, I just want to share a couple of things about Royal Blood Ministries. And then, it's good to be with everybody, hope everybody's okay. Just share with you what's happening and just a few prayer points. Um, uh, just pray a, a lot for me because uh, I'm, I'm just under, a, a, I'm being under and I seem to be under a lot of uh, attack really. Um, it just seems from my right hand to my left hand, this is just a spiritual battle every way, and um, so for so for example, we um, 
we have a, a dear brother who has imbibed um, annihilationism and it's, it's breaking my heart, uh, it's, it's really breaking my heart and uh, it, it's really, really, really tough uh, when it's uh, someone who, who you care about so much and is a best friend. And that's just one example. Uh, I could go into a lot of other stuff as well. And um, it just seems like every inch, every inch, it's just a fierce battle to get the gospel out. And sometimes I just feel like, what's the point of it? <laughs> and sometimes I feel, just give up because it's just too hard, it's too difficult, you know? And I know it's a spiritual warfare, I know it's the, the enemy having a go, but it's really, 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 really tough. The enemy is just trying to keep me down. Uh, so um, I just value your prayers, I value uh, you, that you pray for me and pray for, pray for the work, you know. So I'm just being honest with you. Um, the second thing is uh, there are some needs for the ministry that um, that we need. Uh, we give a lot of people's tracks out, literature. Um, and we give a lot of church tracks out, like people's tracks um, for churches. You know, churches, we give leaflets out. So we're not trying to build our own kingdom. And we've been doing this for years, giving people's leaflets out, giving different mission ministries out and different churches out. But it would be nice to give our own leaflets out so that we can keep in contact with some people as well. So I'd like to publish something like this for Royal Blood Ministries, but I, I can't afford it. But if anyone wants to support the publication of leaflets with Royal Blood Ministries, I would very appreciate it. The idea would be, for example, one like with the deity of Christ answering the Mormons, the Jehovah's Witnesses and Islam. Another one would be on evolution, another one would be on the gospel. And maybe three or four of these leaflets where we can publish and then distribute them around the UK and Europe and around the world. But I can't afford it. If that's a vision that you think is a good vision, if you get in touch with me at my website, jasonbirdspreacher.com, you can email me there if you want to support it. You can go on my Patreon account for my um, YouTube channel. And you can also come down into Manchester and see me and, and, and donate uh, or offer to uh, pay for the leaflets. Uh, so I'm thinking about 10,000 um, to start off with, of maybe 5,000 gospel and 5,000 answering the witnesses and, and, Job and, and Islam and uh, the Mormons. Uh, so, uh, we we might write them up ourselves, or we might see what's around and ask if we can publish them. So that's one need, and it's a very important need because we reach thousands of people uh, a week normally, and uh, it would be good to give people those. Second thing is sound system. Uh, Pastor has given me a a, a good sound system like for preaching. Um, but uh, he's, he's quite a big speaker and um, sometimes I do travel around and it's difficult to carry and I need a, a booster, it's called a booster, they're about £40, if anyone wants to get me one I'm very appreciative if anyone wants to get me one because it will come in handy when I'm travelling around uh, in preaching so I value a booster, it's a stand on mic that you put on your waist and you've got a, a loop system here and you can preach. Uh, I need one of those. If anyone can get me one, I'd be very grateful. The other thing is uh, a gazebo. If anybody's got a gazebo or can pass on a gazebo or buy a gazebo, I'd be very grateful. We, If you go down into Manchester, there's a, two big gazebos of Islam on Market Street. They stand out. And it'd be really good if we could have a gazebo, we could bring a gazebo down, set it up and share the gospel and it'll stand out with, with uh, royal blood printed on it. Uh, but 
you know, if you've got a gazebo, if you'd like to donate a gazebo, or if you've got some money that you could help us to get a gazebo with, I'd be very grateful. Again, you can go to my Patreon account on my YouTube channel, email me from my website, jasonburstpeter.com, or you can go to, um, you can go to uh, meet me in Manchester and, and pass the gazebo on or donate to me in that way. Or I can come and pick it up anywhere in the country. I can come and pick the gazebo up. Uh, but that'd be really good, it'd be a great testimony, especially in the winter when it's raining and snowing, if we had the gazebo up it means we, we can function even in all sorts of weathers, so that, those are some of the needs anyway. Um, uh, so yeah, so those are some of the issues some of the challenges and some of the needs of Royal Blood Ministries. So I'm going to end this video and restart it in a minute. Uh, before I do, I'll just recommend some books because I want to I want to go on to a long video with, which is going to be on annihilationism, you know, and the doctrine of hell. So we'll have this video as kind of the needs of Royal Blood Ministries, okay? Um, but yeah, it's 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 to be honest, it's been really really a, a horrendous battle, a, tough, a really tough battle, um, and I just value your prayers because I, sometimes I just think, what is the point of of going on doing what I'm doing? Because the the battle is just fierce, and so I I am asking you to uphold me in prayer and to to pray for me, you know because I, I just can't do it without your prayers. Um, and your encouragement, even, even if it's just you send me a little email, say thanks for the video or thanks for that sermon or whatever, or it would just, it would just keep me going. It would just encourage me, you know. Uh, so recommend some books. Uh, Thomas Boston. Uh, it's Life and Times by Andrew Thompson. It's a Scottish minister. Uh, it's a beautiful biography. If you're a, a preacher and a Christian worker and you feel a bit down, read this. Thomas Boston, His Life and Times by Andrew Thompson. It's a real, it's a real gem. And uh, if you want to just have a nice relaxing cup of coffee and a toast in the morning and you want to read something nice, nice biography. Thomas Boston, Scottish Minister, really, really good. Another book which I've read about half of it, Science of Blind Spot, by Cornelius G. Hunter, published by Brazos Press. Science is Blind Spot, uh, Br Brazos Press, by Cornelius G. Hunter. Uh, and basically what this book does is it looks at uh, naturalism and shows that naturalism has a theological bias. So these people who say uh, evolution is true, for example, the, 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 it's a circular argument because right, it goes right back to the 16th, 17th century and shows that science did not have any bias. Science was looking more to what phenomena, studying phenomena, but naturalism is, is going to step beyond looking at phenomena by saying that all there is, is nature. So we can only have uh, natural explanations of nature. That's a theological commitment. That's not actually, no, no naturalist who believes in naturalism. Um, and there are a vari variety of naturalism, just in case there's an atheist out there who's a clever clogs. But uh, no theory of naturalism is based on any evidence. It's just based on a presupposition, a prior commitment without any evidence. So what that means is if you're looking at information in the DNA, a, a, a naturalist will just say, well, we'll give a natural explanation of it. It's just happened by random chance. Where is if you let the data speak for itself from a scientific point of, point of view, information points to a designer. So it's a circular argument for evolution and uh, it's because the pre -com prior commitment of naturalism 
is theological rather than scientific, and that's the book to get hold of. And then uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, A Life in Pictures, uh, by uh, Eberhard Bethage. Eberhard Bethage, A Life in Pictures by Dietrich Bonhoeffer. And uh, it's a really good uh, book to, to get. Um, and, and basically it's the life of a German theologian being captured by the Nazis and um, how he stood up for the, for the Jewish people, you know. And history repeats itself. So if you learn about Dietrich Bonhoeffer, you, you're actually learning about today. You're actually seeing the things happening today in the West. Are, things are repeating themselves. So this is a really good book. Published by... Not very evangelical. I don't. I don't like them as a publisher. But S C M Press Limited. S C M Press Limited. So we're going to finish this video, and then we're going to go on to a, a, a very in-depth look at the doctrine of hell. Okay. God bless you.